Hello Mood here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to create an art journal in my Moleskin sketchbook um, and I selected one of the biggest uh, focal points that I had in a scrapbook paper. Uh, I made a whole uh, paper hole a while ago. This was one of them and I'm going to link the video down below for you to see the papers themselves if you are curious or want to shop around. Um, I'm going to uh, start with uh, giving some color at the background with my Distress uh, sprays. I'm using uh, two of the latest colors, Crackling uh, Campfire, which uh, I'm totally in love with, and the green one, which <laughs> I forgot the name now. Um, I think the green one is uh, Oxide and the Crackling Campfire might be Oxide as well. Uh, I bought these a while ago and uh, uh, this is a, a video that I recorded before, that's why I'm having difficulty uh, remembering, but uh, I think both of them are oxides uh, from the look that I see, they dried a bit opaque. Uh, and I'm just uh, going to um, go around the edges uh, with a vintage photo, uh, so that I have a bit of uh, darkness and, uh, and um, border all around. And I'm going inside the page a little bit as well uh, to make it a little bit more earthy. That's how I uh, liked it. Um, and this uh, page will be really e e quick and easy to show you how easy it, it is to create an art journal. If you have the focal point ready from a scrapbook paper or magazine or something similar. Um, so that you simply uh, create a background and look how it covers anyway all the page i don't even need to make an effort i just cut out these mountains and the beautiful house uh, from the scrapbook paper um, and this is a you know a camping uh, concept um, i'm not much of a camper but uh, it looks nice on the picture I think I actually never camped in my adult life um, and uh, I am not uh, planning to as well uh, but uh, I'm sure there are a lot of you who enjoy it and when I was uh, smaller, when I was a kid, uh, I was going camping with my friends which was enjoyable like the campfire uh, and everything is, is really nice. Uh, for some reason I haven't done it uh, after I grew up. Um, I am also going to put a couple more pictures from the same scrapbook paper. I used my washi tape to give a ground to this car uh, in green. Uh, the washi tapes are from the washi tape shop. And uh, here's another part of the paper with a camping sign on it. So I just cut it out um, from there. Uh, all fussy cutting and I'm going around the edges of my objects with a black uh, marker so that they don't have the white edges and they look more organic so I'm going to stick it at the top uh, corner this gives a balance to the page um, so that there are objects on the both corners and then there is a there is the mountains and the house uh, in the middle of the page and here is the camping sign uh, over the uh, flowers in the corner as well. I am using matte medium uh, to glue everything down but I'm not going into the page um, because it will smear uh, there is spray on the page that lifts with water. I decided the background was too plain uh, at this stage so I'm using a sepia ink uh, together with a couple of really small um, stamps this is uh, from Art by Marlene's um, stamp, uh, texture stamps. Uh, there are little items there uh, that you can use. It's very versatile. So I'm just uh, stamping here and there uh, randomly. This is a little leaf and the others, uh, other is circles. So it doesn't matter. Uh, you can just use whatever you want. Uh, the idea here is just to give a bit of interest at the background. After I finish with this, I'm going to select a few sentiments from an old sticker uh, book, an old sticker set that I have uh, from 7 Dot Studio. Uh, here uh, it is. Uh, I, I'm using it because the colors match really nicely. And if I place, place these uh, stickers on the 
mountains uh, it will show uh, and match the background as you see it was a super easy uh, quick way if you are a beginner uh, I think uh, you will enjoy working with scrapbook papers rice papers um, napkins that have ready images for you uh, to have a concept or somewhere to start rather than a completely blank page uh, I always recommend uh, this way uh, to get inspiration and uh, have a way to start easily without being frustrated um, I just went around the stickers with my black pen so that they are more uh, prominent and I'm giving some shadow here and there uh, around my images uh, again for them to uh, look uh, a bit more organic uh, th these shadows always add some depth and a 3D effect uh, around the objects that you glue down and uh, I'm using it in between the mountains too so that they can separate from each other better uh, also around the house, uh, behind the animal um, this is a way to separate uh, objects from each other as well as well as uh, giving shadow uh, around the objects I'm going to do some white splashes with my uh, acrylic spray from Dina Wakely however because there is a um, distress uh, oxide at the back it just sinks in and doesn't give the effect that I want but it shows on the scrapbook paper which is nice uh, anyway it, it adds a nice effect uh, because uh, oxides uh, react with this and finally I decided to give a black border uh, to my page having a darker uh, border uh, look to me uh, better I just was uh, looking for that definition around the edges and I'm using my archival uh, black ink for that I have this ink for uh, since I started uh, journaling um, and here is the finished page I think it looks super cute I love the colors uh, again it's a way to journal uh, very easily and have a quick satisfaction with a finished page I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please don't forget to hit like, uh, comment or subscribe to my channel. Um, it, it definitely helps the channel. Uh, and uh, I will see you next time.